Well, hello, everybody. Making some sound to clean the energy of the area before I begin this card reading. I hope everyone has been enjoying the reads. I've been enjoying doing them. I'm going to put a timestamp in the description box below um, of when the cleansing and shuffling ends and the reading begins. If you would like to skip past it. As you can see, I've got some crafts out here on the table. I make uh, decorative oyster, oyster shells that I scavenge from New Orleans from the ground and a few from restaurants, but mostly things that I found I find um, serendipitously on the ground. I, I started collecting oyster shells a while ago and decorating them. Um, if you would like to check out any of that, the link <clears throat> to my Instagram is in the description box where I have all my art um, and I also have a page for just my metaphysical output for things that I write, things that I feel, um, ritual work, things like that and there are also donation links in the description box. I'm staying home as I'm pregnant and would really appreciate any donations that come in. I'm going to shuffle the cards now. Holy Spirit, please join me as I guide this reading for my highest good and for the viewers who may see this video for their highest good as well. Well, hello, Five of Cups. That could represent one focusing a lot on something that they find lackluster, but that there's still more to behold. So it's not the end of the world. Kind of the five of cups it's, it's not the end of the world it's just something unpleasant may have happened but it ain't the end you will make it through all right <sighs> we'll recite psalm 23 the lord is my shepherd i shall not want he maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou prepares the table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup overfloweth. Surely... Goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. I'm going to do four of each from these and lay them out together. Try to keep this reading under 15 minutes, which means I only have nine minutes to do this. Because um, I'm recording some art stuff, and the storage in my phone gets full really quickly. Um, so <laughs> it can make it a little difficult, but I'll be doing four from each of these and one from the White Light Oracle, which I did not shuffle. So let me shuffle that really quick. Alrighty. 
So let us begin. I'm going to cut these just a little bit because things got a little hectic on this table. <laughs> this first row represents yourself. I read upright and reverse. The second represents the challenge. This third represents the lesson to be learned. Nice. And fourth represents the outcome. Again, with fear as the outcome card. This happened yesterday. I, it's just weird. Like you, you try to make your readings like always be encouraging and then you get stuff like this and it's like, okay, why? Like, I don't, this doesn't resonate with me. So sometimes like, I mean, it, I guess it does. Let's explore. Let's explore. So one thing I will say about fear and page of cups being the outcome before we even go, obviously I'm afraid of something, right? So no matter how fearless I think I am, right? Going through all of this, no matter how fearless we think we are, we really think we're big dogs, you know what I mean? But what makes you a true big dog is knowing when you're afraid, knowing that you're going to face something at some point that it, 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 it might test you, it might overwhelm you. Um, and that can make us feel afraid. And we just have to admit that when we, I think when we recognize the energy of fear, we can actually lean towards it and alchemize it so on that note let's get into what we have for the rest of the cards we have cool we're at seven minutes already <laughs> um so you have strength and ghost as your self yourself right now this is leo energy um ghost is like i got ghost again like I got ghost and I think fear the other day. I got I definitely got ghost and caution. Ghost is like for me when you function on a very high spiritual level. You're functioning as a spirit would. You're living your life as if you had already passed. You're being very um, spiritually clean um, as much as you can um, about certain things. Um, I'm kind of, I'm kind of picking it up now. Okay. So you are focusing really like you may be focusing really intently on your routine and how to stay moving at this time. And there's all this shit around you. It's like, just what I'm getting. There's all this stuff around you and you're able to move through it with dignity, with grace, with strength, with confidence. Um, it's almost like you're able to move through this type of stuff undetected, un untraceable. You leave no trace behind you with your energy because you are emanating a very high vibration. It does not bring others down in any sh way, shape, or form. It actually only calls people. Your vibration right now through this eclipse to it's only people may actually see you as this um, people may actually realize this that anytime they have anything to do with you they're all of a sudden they're self-improving and it's like okay I didn't know I was gonna be self-improving and it just kind of happens because they cross paths with you and that's okay you know when you're when you get in somebody's aura and they're you know they may have that that energy about them of being that way can rub off on others for the challenge, we have the Knight of Cups, which is to take things slow emotionally. It's it's a card of love for me. I don't I got I don't know why I got this like two days in a row. I got this yesterday, but it was in the outcome position. It wasn't in the challenge, so it's moved to the challenge position now. I think if this is a simple challenge. It's it's really just you wanting to be more moderate and mature about the way that you're feeling and that's a wonderful thing i feel like this row i can move through pretty quickly like you don't 
struggle or stress over upkeeping your emotional health lately because it's not necessary because you're doing well in that area you're balanced and your caution is being applied properly strength of the knight of cups is like you're feeling confident about something and you know something is really real for you you're it's something that's very fulfilling for you but you're having to take your time with it which is kind of new for you but it's actually really good it's it's a very good thing for the lesson to be learned i love this is one of my favorite cards the lesson to be learned we got the ten of cups and rest what a great row so the lesson to be learned that i'm taking from this is you're way closer to happiness now than you real than you thought you would be you if you don't wake up and feel happy right away which I completely understand I need you to take a moment right now and look at your life over this eclipse and I need you to take it all in and I need you I'm getting a little emotional I'm sorry I'm hormonal I need you to really appreciate it I really I want you to appreciate how much love you are and how much the people around you are like the love that we all are and I want you to rest. I want you to rest in that. You deserve rest. Like, you have not had an easy life. Um, I talk to myself when I do these reads, but I, I hope that anyone who knows that struggle can also hear and feel exactly what this means when I say it. You have had the hardest times of your life already. And you may be young. You may not even be 30 years old yet. I want you to know that you stepping into your adulthood is you having a chance to have a childhood again, a beautiful, whole, innocent, um, innocent and untrodden experiences, clean experiences, just wholeness. I just want you to rest through this eclipse and realize like let it sink in it's going to take you some days to process this you are wonderful and you deserve to have a good life and you deserve to rest and that is all what the universe is going to provide for you as you move through these changes that are coming up Oh boy, I see the lawn care people coming up and they're going to be cutting the grass really shortly. So let me try to get through the rest of this. I, I just saw them pull in. It's like they can't fix anything inside of these apartments, but they sure do make sure the grass people come cut every single week. They can't even get them to pressure wash the algae on the outside of the units, but whatever. Anyway, <laughs> for your outcome, we got the page of cups and the fear so strange to me that through all the trials and tribulations you've gone through look i see the guys rolling up and they're looking at the grass like we literally just cut this shit last week do we really have to cut this shit again because it ain't even long <laughs> just i wish you guys could have seen their faces in the truck sorry about that add brain i can focus on a thousand things at once um the motherfuckers was like, we really got to cut this shit again. We just did this seven days ago. Who cuts the grass every seven days? Let the fucking flowers grow to feed the, the bugs. I hate cutting the grass. I just, anyway, so I'm wasting so much time. <sighs> through all the things that you've been through, and I'll just lay it out here really plainly based on my own experiences lately. You may have gone through something with a relationship recently that took something to a new level and you are out now at a new level and yet even though you've been through what you have what you per you can perceive to be everything it's like you and this person have gone through the the wildest stuff together um you've gone through the wildest arc trying to navigate this connection and you have learned just about every lesson that you can learn from it you've learned lessons that people don't learn until they're 70 years old from this from this like you have learned 
so much in a very rapid period of time and rapid maturity is taking place with this love offer with this relationship thing and what I'm getting is that there is still more yet there is still more yet even though you think you may have seen it all with this and been through the depths of it all you've gone down to hell and reached up to heaven with this connection there's still a doorway that you are going to cross through involving your feelings towards this and there may be more yet there may always be another doorway it's not it's not like you get to a place with someone and you're just okay well, we're, we're good forever i understand everything always forever now you know maybe there's more maybe there's even more for me when i see this fear card it represents because i'm with child it represents the fear that can overtake me when I think about giving birth. Um, and I know that that's a very real thing. The important thing is to, again, acknowledge that and work with it. Be, you, know, you have to have a spiritual plan for this type of thing. But I'm just, I'm just throwing that out there because, like I said, I'm not afraid of any. I, I consider myself a person who's like, I'm not afraid of anything, really. I, I just, I've been through so much stuff. I've lost and gained so much that the, the, the birth and the death and rebirth of things doesn't frighten me too much. But there's something that I don't understand still. And that's why when I got this card, I sighed and was like, really? Because it's true. And I can't even put in, put it into words fully right now but it's got something to do with this page of cups energy this 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 flowing this feeling i'm i'm going to cut off here uh do the oracle card and cut it off here but i do want to just reiterate there's something about the nervous system that's communicating to me with these two cards there's something about the way your your nervous system processes emotions um can't really put it into words but that's what I'm getting at I talk about the birthing pain and, and all these things it's there's something about this this liminal space between fear and under like the things that you know and what you don't know it's really the fear of fear of the unknown that's it the fear of unknown feelings right the fear of unanalyzed feelings maybe just it's a lot the fear card is it trips me up because i'm like what could the fear be and that's kind of the whole point it's, it's like asking what love what love is it's, it's there's a balance in the universe love and fear are on a kind of a spectrum and you know love is at one end and fear is at the other and if you we we, we try to give definitions of what love means and say, oh this is the meaning of love it, the fear is the same way. It's like we try, we can try to give a definition of it, but do we really understand it ever? Something to think about. All right, our oracle card is Ishtar's Lion's Gate, 888. I'm going to try to read from the booklet, and let's hope this video didn't chop out on me. My storage gets full of my phone. Mm -hmm. Like I said, I was working on some crafts, um, and I do process videos with that, and sometimes my storage gets full, and I can't do, can't do everything at once. I've gotten this card in readings before, so it's cool that we get the line again, because strength is the, the card representing the self right now. So there's two lions on this table. Um, I think that's awesome. Appreciate your Leo friends and your family that may be Leo's, um, you know. The Lion's Gate falls when the sun is in Leo. Leo is the sign of the lion, the astrological ruler of the heart and the animal totem sacred to Ishtar. The rising of Ceres took place on 26 July in ancient Egypt, which marked, which marked the beginning of Egyptian New Year. In modern times and different latitudes, the date of the rising of Sirius varies considerably. Nonetheless, the eighth day of the eighth month is considered especially potent, and when combined with the eight-pointed star of Ishtar, the numerical frequency of the spiritual portal or doorway that opens on 8 August becomes 888. The 888 frequency will stimulate your soul in its unique way. 
It facilitates a deepening intimacy between the spiritual worlds and the earth plane, an amplification of light and an outpouring of positive blessing for humanity. It is believed many, if not all, cosmic avatars who come to earth as advanced spiritual guides hail from Sirius and make their blessings increasingly available to humanity during this opening between the worlds. This oracle brings a message of a breakthrough and healing, of a significant lightening up of your life and the end of a deeply challenging cycle. There is a special divine dispensation augured by the Oracle of Ishtar's Lionsgate 88. Where hope has been difficult to find or all seems lost, the light shall return and beautiful blessings are destined to unfold in your life. So you better believe it. You better believe. All right, my loves, I'm going to go ahead and close the video and get back to making crafts. Um, I really appreciate all who watch. Please subscribe um, if you would like to. Um, it helps the channel. Um, at a certain point, you can make a little bit of income from doing these reads. And I'm not, you know, um, ever going to ask anyone for donation for a reading directly. But if you do this long enough, it will eventually manifest that for itself. And that's, that's part of the goal. That's why so many people do tarot on YouTube is because... First of all, it's very fulfilling. It's very good for the spirit. We enjoy what we do, but also, you know, we live in a material world and anything helps. So <laughs> thank you guys so much. Um, hit the like button to comment. Anything is so much appreciated. Every moment that you're here connecting with the reads is much appreciated and felt. Um, thank you. And I will see y'all next time.